The best way to incorporate patient voices into the development of quality measures is to actually ask them. Ironically enough, we start with the medical outcomes we want to achieve, and we look to the medical professionals to do that, the health service researchers. We never actually step back and ask the patient what they want. We should engage them when we develop the outcome measures. We should ask them what's important. And when you engage them, you see the dialogue changes, and everybody gets an outcome that works for all the different uh, components of the healthcare systems. And we have the opportunity to actually address what are important aspirations for people with chronic disease and disabilities. A solution to the gaps in care really should focus in on how do we ensure that we integrate the patient's perspective at the point of time where we're trying to deliver a medical outcome. So we should have shared decision models that actually help a patient articulate what their aspirations are. No patient goes to the healthcare system simply to get their blood work done. That's not what they're interested in. We keep thinking of the healthcare system as a strategy, but for people with chronic disease and disabilities, it's a tactic, and it's part of a larger strategy that helps them live out their aspirations. So step one is to have the healthcare system actually help explore, identify what those aspirations are, wrap the medical outcomes around it, measure whether or not that process is actually in place, being operated, and actually working effectively. From that, I believe you'll get a much more integrated systems where patients are actually invested in the delivery of their care. They're more compliant, they're more adherent, and it's because you've developed a strategy that actually helps them live out their aspirations.